This project is about a partnership between the Department of Environmental Protection and the City of New York Department of Education to retrofit fixtures in our bathrooms to save water across the city in response to a repair that they need to make in the Delaware watershed. And as part of that repair, we'll have to shut the Delaware aqueduct down. As a result of that, we released a water demand management plan where we were hoping to save 25 million gallons of water per day. We realized one of the biggest things we could save a lot of water on was replacing old toilet fixtures. We looked at the Department of Education and specifically the 500 largest Department of Education buildings that we can find. We are the largest school system in the United States with over 1.1 million students and over 1,300 facilities. Many of which were constructed before the mid-1990s. And so we had partnered with an engineering firm to survey these buildings, find out how many inefficient fixtures we have. And we believe there are about 30,000 fixtures that could be replaced in Department of Education facilities alone. And we estimate this could save around 4 million gallons of water per day. Our goal is to retrofit 500 New York City school buildings throughout all five boroughs. We have the opportunity now to improve our bathrooms and improve service delivery to students in our schools. We have a very limited maintenance budget here at the New York City Department of Education and the opportunity for someone else to come in and help us improve the condition of our facilities was really a home run for us. Department of Education didn't have the funds to carry out this massive amount of work themselves. So DEP provides the funding and Department of Education had an existing job contract that they could use to carry out the labor. This project is a perfect match for job order contract. It's a very standardized program of very similar projects just in different schools. One of the great benefits of job order contracting is it allows us to take on big unique and standalone projects and get them done without impacting my day-to-day -day maintenance resources. We would not have been able to absorb that if we didn't use job order contract. The Gordian Group has always been a terrific partner with us in a wide variety of large capital construction projects and I really consider them an extension of the DOE and not just our partners but an integral part of who we are and they are the only way that we can do many of the things that we need to do on the construction side. And the, the JOC contract was useful because it allows the flexibility of the contractors to do everything they need to do to replace the fixtures. They have to open up the walls, replace piping, replace shutoff valves, all that stuff. And what's impressive is that we've been able to do all this work while the schools are still open. We work with the contractors on a schedule that meets everyone's needs working around the school schedule and the kids. So once we got this project really rolling and we got a whole process down, my colleague John McLaughlin of the Office of Ecological Services came to us and said, I got a grant and I'm hoping to build an oyster reef in Jamaica Bay. I've seen research where we've used porcelain before as the base of the oyster reef. You know, I'd really like to use the porcelain in this project. The oyster reef, eventually, once fully constructed, will continue to improve water quality in Jamaica Bay. And so we thought it was the perfect program to see if we could use crushed porcelain. There was a lot of logistical issues that we had to make sure that we were delivering the exact product for constructing an oyster reef. It's not just that you can smash a toilet, and, and throw it in the bay. We had to make sure that there was no metal or plastic parts on the toilets. And we really wanted to make sure that the porcelain was as clean as possible. So it's very important that they power wash the toilets before they smash it. We also wanted a very particular size. We didn't want anything too small. We didn't want anything too large. And the contractors were great in responding and saying, OK, here's how we'll do it. And the jock contract was useful because they've been able to sort of change their process to make it better for us. After our contractors process the material, they deliver them to this site, the Fountain Avenue landfill, where DP employees spread them out on blue tarps. And the purpose of that is to get them in the sun, get them rained on, to get the porcelain as clean as possible before we put them into Jamaica Bay, which is right over there. What's interesting about the Fountain Avenue landfill is a landfill from 1961 to 1985. And now 
that land is making a transformation, you know, going from a trash dump to a nature preserve is very similar to the project that we're trying to accomplish here, where we have close to four and a half, five thousand toilets that would have gone to a landfill. Instead, we're able to process it and build an oyster reef in Jamaica Bay. The students now are going to have a real world connection to some of the sustainability messages that we try to teach to them. So when you think about the opportunity that we have to instill these sustainability concepts into our students, it's clearly a win-win for both the EP, the DOE, and most importantly for us, our students. And this whole project is sort of our commitment to make New York City a great city that we can all live in for a very long time. There's so much to like about this program. Our buildings are always going to need maintenance, and if we can have partners that can incorporate education into the process, that's just terrific. That's a home run.